On Tuesday morning, the Penobscot County Commissioners distributed over $100,000 to community projects. This was through their latest funding program, distributing money received from ARPA. We're receiving taxpayer money in a lump sum that we can return to communities and organizations who provide benefits to their citizens in a way that we've really not been able to do before. The funding is a result of the American Plan Rescue Funds allocated to Maine counties, which allows the commissioners to serve a variety of community needs. It would be for things uh, related to the upgrade or capital improvement of a facility. The largest amount of funding went to the city of Brewer with an $83,000 grant to improve the city's firing range. Uh, the city of Brewer has a, has a range that we share with uh, you know local, state, federal, county law enforcement and we have for many years but it's in need of some pretty serious upgrades. According to Moffitt, though the funding may seem large, it is a pressing need for law enforcement and the community. You have a requirement as a law enforcement officer in the state of Maine to meet certain minimum standards. However, most agencies train beyond those minimum standards and they need to. So you need a, you need a safe place to shoot. Moffitt says they plan to collaborate with the National Guard, who intend to utilize the space as a training facility. The commissioners say that partnership had an influence over the funding decision. Training and operational expenses at times might seem like that should be a budgetary item, but the, the true nature of this was a, a, a good and unique opportunity to benefit many agencies. Other funding went towards the Ten Bucks Theater Company, Orno Public Library Foundation, and the Bangor Masonic Foundation, who received nearly 50000 to conduct maintenance work to their building. This is a great program um, to help us help the many people in, in Penobscot County that have gone through COVID and, and are looking for a way forward. For more information about how to apply for funding through the ARPA program, visit our website at foxbangor.com. In Bangor, Grace Blanchard, ABC7 and Fox 22 News.